Hello and welcome to Python for Everybody. Today we're going to install Python on a Windows system and install a simple uh, text editor and, and, and run a simple program. We're going to go to python.org and we're going to go into downloads and we're going to download Python for Windows. So now the download is completed, so we're going to do the installation. Now we ought to, we need to be in the uh, the administrator an administrator account on this Windows to do this. So we just finished the install, and so I'm going to test to make sure that uh, we've got her done. So I'm going to go into the command prompt and check to see if Python's installed. I'm going to say pi minus minus version, because Python would hook us back up to that app store. So now we have Python. We type pi, we'll go to the in interpreter, print hello world. and then quit open print close print. Okay, so we have Python installed, so that's good. So we can close that. Now we're going to go on to our text editors. We have a number of different editors. You can use any editor that you like. You shouldn't use Word, you shouldn't use Notepad. Um, so we recommend the brackets. If you have something like VS Code installed and it's working for you, great, keep on going. Um, so there's other ones that you can use, but we're gonna focus on brackets. So brackets is simple, it's open source, it runs on Mac, Windows, and PC. So we're just going to download brackets here. Let's go ahead and install brackets. We'll just take the typical. So we're done with that. So let's go ahead and finish. So let's just open brackets up. Oh, well, let's go ahead and hide this. So there's brackets. So I'll just close all this stuff. Close that. So I'm going to create a file. File new. And I'm going to make this a Python file. Print. Hello world, of course, the first the first program. And now I'm going to save the file. File save. Now I'm going to go onto my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder py4e. You'll notice it also shows up on my visual desktop as py4e. And then I'm going to go into that folder and name my file hello.py. And now that I've called it hello.py with that suffix, it actually does a syntax highlighting. So that's kind of nice. So if I, if I go and I take a look at this folder, I will see that there is a file called hello.py. And if I'm here, the, in the command, you're in a working directory. So I'm on the py for user. So I'm in the working directory users py for e. If you're ever wondering where you're at and it's not showing in the prompt, you can type cd all by itself. If I do a dir here, you will see that I've got a number of files, including a file called a folder called desktop. So I did cd des tab to get to desktop, and then I do a dir here, and you see that I've got one folder named py4e, 
Yeah, okay, and my account name is PY-free and my folder is PY-free, so sorry if you're um, confused by that. So I can do a dir inside the PY-free, but you see I'm in the account PY-free, it's desktop, and then the folder PY-free, and I gotta file hello.py. So I can type here pi hello.py to run Python. And it will, and it will say, hello world. And so that's pretty much just kind of getting started. Uh, like I said, you can use any editor that you like, um, and we're just recommending that you start with brackets. So there we go. I hope that you found this a quick and useful in, in, uh, instruction on how to install Python, how to install a simple editor in the form of brackets, and then how to um, run your first Python program.